Hey friends, I'm always asked how to undo color correction uh, if you have darker uh, under eye area. And today I'm going to show you my, um, my, my makeup routine. Right now I'm going to show you how I color correct my under eye and this area around the nose. The product I use and I'm going to show you how to do it. I just applied my serum and a drop of face oil but now i'm going to take a paper a towel paper tissue and just take off extra oil like this. start let's start uh, with my under eye area this darker bluish area i oh, use this wonderful product from Becca that's called uh, under eye brightening corrector it exists in two shades the lighter one uh, and uh, medium to deep the darker one models for the lighter skin tone if your skin is darker uh, the pro product is called backlight targeted color corrector so this one is papaya and this one is peach peach and papaya but uh, for me for myself I'm going to use just these two colors and yes I combine them uh, I often see how um, on Instagram or in real life people I mix I just mix two colors people use very very light under eye concealer and they think that a very light color will um, hide their circles dark circles this is a big mistake what happens if you use very very light color is uh, lighter pigments increase actually the blue color and you see how it immediately just removes that blue dark area if you feel like you want to cover your eyelids you can also use the same product for the nose area i'm going to use also use backcom and this is this little green um, product called um, Backlight Targeted Color Corrector in Pistachio. I want to color correct it, that works really well. Also, it has um, all kinds of shades for deeper, dark, darker skin tones like peachy and mango shades. Um, you should check it out if you're not familiar with this product. Um, the base is really nice, it moisturizes well and it color corrects. And now I waited for some time to for product to set. I uh, that's exactly why I like this product so much. It sets and it's it's um, not too oily. It has this waxy finish when you apply it. It's a little bit sticky, and it sets. I um, there are many many. Uh, oil-based products for color correction uh, all these correctors you can find at Sephora and online I don't like them uh, neither I like uh, using like lipsticks for um, I saw some videos when uh, people just use lipsticks to neutralize their dark area I don't think it's a good idea lipsticks is not supposed to be uh, <laughs> worn under your eyes and the texture is not going to look nice and it's not going to do the job so um, if you're really concerned about your dark areas just like go and get this product for un your under eye and just leave the lipstick for your lips okay now i'm going to use my uh, all times favorite uh, foundation uh, it's not even a foundation it's tinted moisturizer it's from Paula, paula's choice it but you see this product is really nice it's sheer it works well for light skin tones my under eye concealer and my favorite one is from it cosmetics i use medium and again i don't use very light one you might be thinking oh but your skin is very light yes but as i say i don't want to do this mistake 
and um, I let it sit there for, for a second and meanwhile I took um, another favorite product of mine it's called Uncover Up from RMS Beauty and I apply just a little bit around the nose the area where I still need a little bit of more coverage and I just spread in the center of my face and temples just if I need to cover a little bit more and my concealer is um, set a bit and now I uh, blend it with my finger I am not a powder person I almost never use powder on my models or on my clients well I use when, if it's needed but on myself I only use this wonderful product from by Thierry called um, Hyaluronic Hydro Powder I'm going to use this color sculpt and I use this angled brush from Makeup Forever and I always always blend it a little bit before touching my face to avoid strong dark spots and the temple of course and I often sculpt my nose I take the same brush the reason why I do that of course when I do my clients makeup I have separate brushes for the nose because nose requires smaller brushes and um, but I don't like to have hundred brushes in my makeup counter and I just take the brush I just press this with my fingers you see and that's how I do it So it allows me to make straight line and then I blend it. A highlighter. But before that I'm going to use Paula's Choice Refreshing uh, Moisture Mist. And um, now I'm going to use um, your skin nude air luminizer this one this is my favorite color number 003 it's very beautiful and I apply um, I always use a little bit of a mist before I apply um, pressed uh, highlighter any powder highlighter because it, it it helps me to create a beautiful finish I love and I use my finger to work on my cupid bow If it's too intense, you can use another finger to take it off a bit. And I'm going out a little bit of finger to do like inner corner of the eye. So this is my uh, base for every day, uh, go to work or meeting with friends kind of makeup. It's for the morning, for the day. Um, you see this half of the face is untouched it has a little bit of you know darkness around the eye the pigmentation on the eyelids and a little bit of a redness around the, the nose but you see i just used few products and it's gone